Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. I'm gonna run you through this little note card today. It is my first sample with the paper and ink sketches number three. Sketch number three, as well as the project sheet for this card are on the blog, KitchenTableStamper.com. The supplies that you'll need to make this card are Stampin' Ups, Lift Me Up, Stamp Set, Up and Away Thinlets Dies. These are available as a bundle in the New Occasions catalog. You save 10% when you bundle up the stamps with the Thinlets Dies. We're also using the Banner Triple Punch and the Cookie Builder Punch today for this card. So during celebration, if you were to purchase the Lift Me Up bundle and either of the punches that we're using today, that would qualify you for a free celebration item. I am using the Carried Away Designer Series paper today. This is a free item in celebration, so you can get the stamps, the dies, one of the punches, and Stampin' Up! would treat you to the paper for free during celebration. It's a great deal. Okay, so let's get started with our consumable supplies. First, you'll need some designer series paper. I have one of the carried away patterns. It's got a, a navy, knight of navy and white pattern on one side and clouds on the other. I already die cut this piece with the stitched square from the stitch shape framelits. It's a little less than two and three quarters square. Then I also have a piece of the designer series paper with the balloons on the back and the basket weave on the front. I'm going to use the basket weave. Um, this piece is two by five and a quarter. I have some whisper white. I have two and seven eighths inch square and that is to mat that stitched square. It's the perfect size for matting that. <laughs> then I have a piece to do my stamping and this is um, two and a half by four and that should be sufficient for the balloons and the note. I have a length of linen, probably about uh, 20 inches. I have a scrap of watermelon wonder, and that's just for doing a little punching. We're gonna embellish our balloons with some hearts. So a little half inch strip will do. Then I have my card base. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and we're gonna score at four and a quarter. So we've got our simply scored. We're gonna score at four and a quarter. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take my two inch strip of designer series paper and I am going to insert it into the banner triple punch and just take the very end off of it. There we go. And we can adhere that to the card with a little bit of snail adhesive. While we've got that snail, let's go ahead and adhere our stitched square to the mat. And then this linen thread, we're going to have the length off of the left hand side and wrap it two or three times. I think two is going to do it. Tie a bow. Okay, now we want that to be nice and low so we can tuck the balloons on this square. Alright, I like the placement of that. We'll get some dimensionals. Now we can do our stamping. I've got some Knight of Navy and Peekaboo Peach. Okay, so we got that Whisper White piece and we're going to stamp the larger balloon in Knight of Navy 
And you want to make sure that you get a very good coverage. So light taps multiple times is going to get you your best coverage. And then when you get to the paper, you want to just hold for a second and let the ink transfer. You notice I'm also using my Stampin' Pierce mat. And then I've got a peekaboo peach, smaller balloon. And this little note, I love this stamp image. It's a little note with a heart at the bottom. Okay, we've got all of our images stamped. We'll put that aside. Die cut those in a second. Then you want to bring the card in and we're going to add the sentiment. We're going to add it directly on the mint macron. All right. Okay, I've got the big shots and the dies that we're using from the Lift Me Up framelits. We're going to go ahead and die cut all these pieces at once. The magnetic platform makes that really easy. There they are. Okay, sometimes when I have a high contrast color like Night of Navy and White, I want a really strong solid image. So sometimes I'll cheat. I've got my Night of Navy markers. I love that Stampin' Up! has markers that match every color ink pad. So I'm going to go with my Night of Navy marker and I'm just going to darken up these navy blue stripes on the balloon. I'll go with the brush tip and kind of fill in the centers and then switch to the bullet. It's got a really fine bullet point and I can get all the way to the edge. And just make sure that I've got that nice high contrast, solid navy blue on whisper white. It only takes a minute but I think it makes a huge difference. And sometimes it's just necessary when you're using such a high contrast. Okay, so I've got my little balloons and I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of them. Because my peach basket hangs off the edge of my um, designer paper panel, I'm going to take a little bit of dimensional. I just cut two bitty little squares. I'm going to put one on the basket and then I'm going to lift the adhesive um, covering here. And then I'm going to take the second little one that I cut and bump it up. So the basket's going to be double high. So I want the navy one hanging out the side there. And the peach one is going to hang off the bottom. And that's really important for the like flow of the card. We want it to look natural and sometimes hanging off the edge is the best way to make it look natural. Okay, now our little note. I've got a glue dot and I'm going to put it in the bottom right corner and then in the top left corner I got a tiny bit of dimensional that's left from doing the balloons and we're going to put the dimensional right by the knot 
and the glue dot on the banner piece and it kind of makes the note curl and lift. Last up we've got this little um, strip of watermelon wonder and our cookie belter punch. If you know me, you know what I'm going for. It's that little heart right there. I've been using it a ton. I wasn't even sure about the cookie builder stamp set, but this punch, I cannot get enough of it. All right, so we've got three little watermelon wonder hearts, multi-purpose liquid glue, and I'm gonna add a little dab of glue at the top of each of these little garlands and then left of center on the peach. And then I've got my um, scoring tool from the Simply Scored. I'm going to touch the adhesive that I just put down on the peach and then I'm going to touch the heart and it works perfectly to move those hearts into place. Don't want to get a lot of adhesive on your peer, or on your scoring tool, just enough to make the little hearts want to follow along. There they are, perfect placement, no glue all over the place. Let them dry and they'll be fine. All right, there they are, paper and ink sketch number three. Go over to the blog kitchentablestamper.com, grab the sketch, make a card, and share it on the Kitchen Table Craft Social on Facebook. If you've got any questions about this project, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.